intro time. Watch the whole video. Okay, so first thing first, I want to show you guys the hair that I got. And I got this brand, which is Kima Master. And it is in a color one. And it's 20 inches long. So I got three packs of that. And then I have um, a closure as well. And as you can see, it's five inch deep part closure. And I got this in 18 inches. And this closure was $12.99. The bundles, however, were $9.99, which is a deal. This hair is safe with flat iron up to 350 degrees. So do not go higher than that. And also some other supplies you will need is your dome cap. I got the dome mesh cap. You will need your clips. You will need your glue. You're going to need some scissors and a comb of course and do not mind this silly guy okay so now you can see that i have everything onto my mannequin head you can see that i have my plastic cap um underneath my dome mesh cap um that's so that when i glue the hair down that it doesn't get onto my mannequin head and i just want to show you this closure and the part and how deep it is and you know how well you can see the part as well and this is the stock card the back of the closure and I wasn't completely sure on how I wanted to put the glue on the back of this closure but I just went ahead and put it all over the closure except for the middle where the part is because you don't want to do that or else you won't have a part Then I just went ahead and placed the closure onto the cap and once I did that I just dried the the closure and made sure that it was dried fully. Alright, so now I'm just pinning up the hair so that it is out of the way because now I'm going to go ahead and add the bundles in and I just want to make sure that none of, none of this hair is in the way as I do that. So as you can see, I'm getting the hair ready. And first, I'm just gonna measure it out to see how much I need to cut. And once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and add the glue and put the hair onto the head, just like this. And I'm gonna hold that down for a few seconds and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my dryer and blow dry that down. Okay, so once that roll dries, I'm gonna go ahead and take some more here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same process by measuring it first. And then once I find the correct measurement, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it, add the glue, and then place the hair onto the head. And then I'm gonna just keep on repeating this process over and over. And then I'll come back to you guys once I get to the side. So now I'm going to move move on to the side of the head. I'm going to go ahead and take some hair and measure. Um, I'm going to measure from the closure to the last row where I left off. And I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece off and then I'm going to glue that down. And I think that this process just adds a little bit more hair or to make the hair more fuller on the sides. So when you get ready to wear the hair or wear the wig, it won't be so thin on the sides and I only put two layers on the sides so this is my second layer that I'm putting down and as you can see I did both I went ahead and did both sides already so now I'm just going to go ahead and continue the process by going from ear to ear around the head the back of the head as you can see now and then yes I'm gonna just continue this process so you guys just go ahead and watch me do this and I will get back to you guys once I get closer to the top of the head.
Okay, so I'm back and as you can see that we are closer to the top of the head and you can also see that I am continuing the same process that I was before. So y'all just keep on watching because this video is almost done, I promise. I'm just making sure y'all don't go anywhere because we are almost done with this bad baby, okay? And right now, I'm just making sure that I am getting as close to the closure as I can because I don't want any gaps in between. Yay, so we are finally done. And I'm going to just comb the hair through. I'm going to take it off of the mannequin head and I'm gonna just get it ready um, to put it on but first as you can see I had the plastic in there the plastic was stuck because you know the glue got stuck to the plastic but I just went ahead and tore the plastic off with no problem then I went ahead and cut the middle of the cap where the part is on the closure so that the part will be visible once I put the wig on and I'm just combing through it with my fingers and I'm just giving you guys a quick look of the wig before I try it on. And as you can see, look at that part. It's pretty deep. And here is the inside of the wig. So just a quick view. And now I'm going ahead and put it on. So yes, this is the final look of the hair. You can see that it is nice and full. And as I comb through it, I can tell that it does tangle a little and it does shed. But I'm not sure if that's because I cut the bundles or not. But it is pretty decent hair. Look at this middle part. I love how deep it is. It looks realistic. It looks natural. Look how long it is. It's super long to be 20 inches. All right, so if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I will catch you guys on the next video.